my channel we have a super busy weekend this weekend it's the last weekend of October I'm sure it's super busy for you guys as well and I am so excited to just soak up all of the fall vibes because I don't know about y'all but come November 1st it is Christmas season in my house but yeah so we're enjoying the rest of fall but we have a lot to do so today is going to be a get it all done style video um, grab your to-do list and let's get started Estimated subtotal $90. Coupon total $20. Did great with coupons this time. Super great and stayed in our budget. I'm gonna place it. All right, so I got my Kroger pickup scheduled for tonight and I got my Costco delivery order scheduled for today. Uh, now I'm gonna go ahead and make some soup for lunch. Also, a quick tip is if you use Instacart, you can get you can go to Instacart through your Rakuten account and you can get cash back on top of um, all the extra perks you get. Like if you're an Instacart member, like you might get free delivery or if you do pickup orders, you get cash back on pickup orders and credits to your groceries. So lots of little ways to save money on groceries. Getting groceries delivered, it is a cost because they're higher than in-store rates. We can all go upstairs. It's too loud. Point is, with five kids, I tend to save money getting food delivered as opposed to going to a store with all my children. So, let's keep going. potatoes on to boil I'm gonna go ahead and make my soup base so for my soup base I'm just starting with the roux um, it's about two tablespoons of butter and then I I don't even know how much flour I did I guess we'll see in a second but I melt the butter and then once it's melted all the way through I go ahead and add my flour and I pull it off the heat and I just stir it till it's a paste and then I use that for all of my gravies all of my pasta sauces, all of my soup bases, this is where I start. And I learned how to make a roux, I don't know, probably 15 years ago now out of the Joy of Cooking book because I used to make um, beef stroganoff from scratch when me and my husband first got married. I mean, all the way from scratch. Egg noodles from scratch and everything. But, you know, that was before I had children. We have time to do stuff like make egg noodles from scratch. Nobody has time for that. Anyway, so you can just see how well this thickened up. Man, learning to make a roux has been a fundamental skill in my kitchen, and I use it 
probably three or four times a week and it's super easy. So if you don't know how to make a roux, uh, you should try one today. You will not be disappointed. Now I am just going to drain these potatoes and then mix all of this together. The real secret here is not over mixing. So I, I'm gonna let my potatoes cool because um, it just makes it easier for them to not mush back into the soup. Feel that you're up in space You're inside the noise I can feel you mm. Once you've seen all the things All the places I hope it means that you come home to me Once you've traveled the world All the spaces inside your heart So my potato soup is done. Um, I will probably, I'm gonna taste it really quick. Is it good? Without chicken broth, it's not as amazing as it could be. And I can't stir it anymore or else it's gonna turn a little bit too much into mush. But this is done, so I am going to throw it in the crock pot on warm and we will eat it later. Felt I'm done with the defense Throw back and climb over your fence Had to show, show you that I was a mess So you were shrugging your shoulders I'm closed off, that's what I told you Soon enough, everything started to change Cause there's no going back our Costco order is in, and we just grabbed a couple of staples. I got some more of the Dave's Killer Bread. I have this with the avocado and sprouts and egg on top for like a really solid breakfast. These were on sale, so I got them for my husband. Um, they're less than a dollar a sandwich, which is super great for like, I mean, if he went and picked up a breakfast sandwich on his way to work, he would spend probably $3, right? And then we do have formula. Uh, my kids like hamburger buns better than bread for some reason right now. So this is for like tuna sandwiches, peanut butter and jellies, stuff like that. I also, of course, I always pick up bananas. I actually meant to get their big crate of eggs. I didn't mean to just get 24 eggs, but then toilet paper as well. And yeah, just a quick restock at Costco, and then I got the rest of the stuff this time at Kroger. There's no going back to your own life. Your living own in the past, life. we're over that. I'm feeling it tonight, riding on the dizzying heights.
there's no going back to your own life No living in the past, we're over that I'm feeling it tonight, riding on the dizzying high this closet and then vacuum the floors and the stairwell. Forever, forever 
sleep You don't know I'm looking With you everything is complete Do you know how much I love you? I put your favorite song on Just to wake you up When I dance around I can't help but feeling I'm just loving this moment Can we stay here forever? Now that we've got dinner done, kitchen cleaned, the first round of groceries put away, um, I've got a little while before the rest of the groceries get here. So I'm gonna go through all of their costume stuff for Halloween. It's slowly been like shipping in, but I haven't like sat down and put it all together yet. So I'm gonna pull out their, that box and kind of just look over all their costumes real quick. Can we stay here forever? I don't even know what the yellow princess peach is for Mario, but this dress was super affordable. I think it's like Daisy or something. Um, and she wanted the yellow one. Let me, there you go. That's a little more true to color. So I think this was like $20 on Amazon. And then my two year old is gonna be a toadstool. This is a little, it's a little bit big, but It'll be cute if it's a little big on him. And then my older two boys are gonna be Mario and Luigi. So I have to say that I love this little dress. I think it is so cute and it's it fits her decent. It's a little big on her, so I think it'll fit her next year too. I don't know that they'll want to do Mario, but like with this many kids, I mean, well, in a few years, we'll probably do Mario again. Um, Especially since they can like trade out costumes. They're all like one size fits all and then I just got like the the Mario hat and gloves and suspender kit and they're gonna wear their regular <gasps> Excuse me, they're gonna wear their regular jeans and Just suspenders and then these for like I think I got one of these for like $8 and the other one was like 15 So one of them was a great price and one was not but that's okay. Uh, I was thinking, oh, we'll use them for Christmas, but these, not really my favorite kind of Christmas colors. They're a little bit too bright. Anyway, so everyone has all of their stuff and we are good to go. So yeah, let me know in the comments below, what are your kids for Halloween this year? Everybody say, happy Halloween. Happy I wanted to pop into the middle of this video with some last minute Halloween craft ideas in case you're looking for anything fun to do with the kids this weekend. So this is the first one and it was my most favorite. It's their little pretzel ghosts. The whole thing was under $8. I think I did $3.49 for the candy melt, $2.19 for the little candy eyeballs, and then um, under $2 for the bag of pretzels. You could also sub out white chocolate. We're just not big white chocolate fans around here. But the kids dipped the pretzels into the candy melts and then added little eyeballs and it was the cutest thing. Now, obviously you can make these turn out much um, nicer looking if you wanted to just do them yourself. But like I said, these were last minute crafts for the kids. So this took about 30 minutes and there was not a lot of cleanup.
Moving on to the land of printables. Um, I found all this on Pinterest for free and I will link it below. My kids loved doing these little hand puppets. They were a total crowd pleaser. We did like 11 puppets. So I think we spent about 45 minutes to an hour on it, but it's probably like a 30 minute thing also if each kid's just gonna do one. And they loved it. We also grabbed these how to draw printables and there's more than just the vampire and the scarecrow. These were just the only ones my kids were interested in. And then the I Spy sheets we're gonna do later. We haven't done those yet. We're gonna do them today when we do our like Rice Krispie monsters, which you won't see that because I haven't done it. And then we did throw together this super cute Q-tip skeleton, which I'm sure the whole world saw T Beast and do last week, but we loved it. Anyway, now moving on to the rest of the video, the potato soup is done and it turned out so good. I was really impressed. I thought that not having the chicken broth was gonna be a problem, but it wasn't at all, so that was fun. It's that tears that I feel Fill up with emotions Could I taste them for real? Longing for you, longing for you Oh, but I can't get back What can I do, what can I do When your train is gone I don't wanna go back, back Don't wanna go back If you are not with me now dinner is done and I want to get on to the evening cleanup. Um, during the week I just do what I can. I kind of like set timers and I don't get everything done because we're so busy throughout the week. But on the weekends, I really like to get my house all the way clean before we go to bed. This helps me to kind of like reset for the week ahead without a lot of extra effort. Um, but it also just makes the weekend so much more enjoyable when you get to wake up every morning to a clean house. So I wanted to do a quick little shout out for this little like hook in my sink. I got it off Amazon in a two pack. I think it was like under 10 bucks. I'm not actually sure about that. I got it like a month ago um, and I absolutely love it. Now I don't have to have anything like on the counter next to my sink. So I used to have my white dish with my soap and my scrubby and all of that stuff. Um, but yeah, it's so like my house looks so much cleaner without that dish of stuff next to the sink. And it seems small, but it's, you know, something that makes a big impact. So if you're interested, I will link that below for you guys. In case you're wondering where all my littles are, um, they're all outside playing. This is one of the things I love the most about fall is the weather is perfect. Um, well, I mean, it's perfect for most of the day, but after dinner, the sun like hits our backyard and the kids can just go out and play and I can turn on some music and leave all the doors and windows open and I can clean up in the house. And it is just the most enjoyable thing for me. It's almost over because daylight savings time is right around the corner and then um, it will be dark by now so that won't work anymore. But this has been such a enjoyable season. It's, it's one of the reasons fall is my favorite to be honest with you. She's putting all, all of her cars down on the table knowing there's no way that she'll be able to win this one. But she's somebody else in the making first She's just gotta stop all the faking And she'll be there But she's wondering if it's gonna feel like she's forever Wondering if it's
she's gonna fetch this one Whenever she leaves her safe space She leaves her safe space Wondering if it is forever Or is there some place that will make her feel better Make her feel better Then that's where she'll go She's wondering if it's gonna feel like she's forever Wondering if it's gonna feel like she's whenever she leaves her safe space She leaves her safe space Wondering if it is forever Or is there some place that will make her feel better Make her feel better Then that's where she'll go Like someone's gonna respond I'm getting tired of myself Cause I don't know what I want But I'm not out here on my Now I do try to keep my kids out of the videos As much as possible Um but I'm gonna let them all just flood in here in just a second and I'm not gonna edit it out. I usually would, but just so you guys can see that like there is so much going on around all the time. So I know we can watch these videos and feel like, oh, I want it to feel like that where it's so peaceful. And, and it does, like this was a, a really peaceful, wonderful afternoon, but it's also so full of noise and crumbs and life all the time. All right, it is 9.30. Um, I have all the kids in bed, but I just, and like the house is clean and everything, but I just got back with my Kroger pickup. So I'm gonna show you guys really quickly what I got for the upcoming week, and then I'm gonna put all this stuff away and hopefully sleep <laughs> at some point. <laughs> all right, so first off, I've got carrots and onions and a curry. This is all for the curry I'm gonna make tomorrow and then i'm going to make like a double batch so that we can um, eat it throughout the week for lunches the kids love curry and i like already have potatoes and everything else that i need for curry um, i got a chopped salad kit just for an easy lunch for me this week i got some green onions and some leeks i love leeks and some sprouts this is all to just kind of like dress up my eggs in the morning and then i have extra ranch for the kids. I got some cream of mushroom soup, just like the store brand. I'm gonna do, um, we did like Tiffany Beeston's tater tot caster. I mean, I don't think it's hers. I just saw it on her video. It's someone else's, I should see who. But we did her tater tot casserole last week and the kids really liked it. And then I have more cream of mushroom soup for, we're gonna do pork chops and rice. So that's for that. And then of course, sour cream, butter, just some staples, two gallons of milk. Here I got some cinnamon rolls, which we'll either have like for breakfast on the weekend or for dessert. Now I go back and forth with creamer. I don't use creamer all the time. I kind of just get on kicks of using creamer. I didn't pick this one, they just subbed it out, um, but I'm sure it'll be fine. And then we just got like some two liters for my husband and for kids some nights. I got two gallons of milk for the week. I got more oatmeal, two of the apple cinnamon. I looked at the ingredients and the apple cinnamon, I don't know if I can get this to focus for you, but I looked at the ingredients and the apple cinnamon has significantly less um, like yucky ingredients in it than the like maple brown sugar one. Also, uh, the ingredients are the same, store brand versus like Quaker. So I was like, yeah, I'll get the store brand. And this is off-brand Captain Crunch because that's bad for you. No matter how you have it, I might as well save money. And then pull-ups for my daughter. She's doing pretty good, but we still like to put her in pull-ups for like church and stuff. 
And then just some pink lady apples, which are our favorite, and some oranges. So I'm gonna get this all put away. Stay here forever. I'm loving this moment. Can we stay here forever? I'm loving this moment. All right, guys, that is it for this video. I'm gonna get all this stuff put away and then I'm gonna go to bed. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video today and that you have a wonderful holiday weekend. Thank you so much for watching. As always, subscribe, like, leave a comment, all that good stuff. It so helps me out and I will catch you next time. Bye. This moment can always stay here forever.